bless us again. What we're going to cover now for you is some of the footwork that we use. Um, a lot of it, it comes from boxing. Uh, my personal opinion is boxing footwork is highly superior because it tends to teach you how to move, evade, get in, and get out. And that's what a lot of what we do is based off of. Okay. Whenever you talk about your basic footwork, whenever you're meeting an opponent, your positioning, if you're going to take a position, should always, always be one that, number one, you're comfortable with. Number two, gives you the best ability for moving. And number three, you have to be able to, how should I say, get around what your opponent may decide that they want to do. So, the number one thing that we do, if we're not in just a natural, ready position, and we assume a fighting stance, the number one thing that we want to do, we want to assume a fighting stance where, number one, we'll go off the other, your center of gravity would be in your butt. Both legs, should have the same amount of pressure or weight on them. The rear should not have more. The front should have more, not have more. It should be center of gravity as you're behind, and your legs have the same amount of pressure. Also, <clears throat> also too, what I like to believe in is your feet should be somewhat pointed to the direction that you want to move, especially your rear leg. You don't want to be firm, solid on your rear leg, pointing off in an opposite direction of where you want to move to, where you're going to move. So what we're going to do, we're going to take from that solid stance on the rear leg, we're going to turn it about, what is that, about 30 degrees? About 45 degrees in. Also, too, you don't want to be flat where your heel is on the ground. You want to elevate your heel slightly so that you're on the ball or your foot. Your front leg, also two cover in the rear, have a slight bend in your knee. Because you don't want it to be straight. You want it to be bent so that gives you a springy action in your movement. Your front leg should be pointed towards the direction that you're going. Not totally straight but slightly off on an angle with a slight bend in that Some people like to keep that foot firm personally. I don't. I like to keep it slightly off of the floor because that gives me more mobility. Also, too, again, going back to the number one thing, center of gravity should be in your butt where both legs have the same amount of weight or pressure on them. Not one has more than the other. You want to assume a stance that's comfortable for you, not too extended, not too close, but something that's comfortable for you with a slight bend. Now, if you're extended too far, that would be where you're here. Not very good because now it's going to take you twice as long to move as if you're here where you're comfortable. Also, too, you want to feel like you have a rhythm where you can move where if you notice, my body is in motion, and as you can see, my feet are moving slightly too. That means I'm not grounded firmly with either foot. Also too, in your movements, you always want to be able to advance in as quickly as you can get out. The way that I like to do, I like to step forward with the front, bring up the back. If I'm going to move back, I'm going to step back and bring back the front. That way, I can go here and back. If I'm going to attack, then I'm right back. And that's based off of stepping, stepping. Always remember, always, you have to remain calm. You have to remain real calm and relaxed in whatever you're going to do. It shouldn't be tight or tense because then it slows down your movements. So again, if I'm here, 
I step, I kick. I'm right back. Right there, I can turn and come right back. That's all based off of footwork for relax. Now, if he attacks, I can move out. I can shift around. I can dip on. That's all based off of footwork. You always want to be again relaxed, where you have the spring in your motion. 